So I had to make this video because some time has passed and we do finally get a comparison of Alpha Investment 6.9, his mystery box, and this 30th anniversary edition. And a lot of people were saying that this thing would go to zero, it would go to 500, it would lose a lot of money. I think in time, this will be a $5,000 product. Uh, it is very limited. Uh, there was only 2,000, less than 2,000 sold, supposedly. And in time, people will forget the anger. They're already forgetting the anger. Pre-release was huge this weekend. I went to a pre-release. It had the most people I've seen play Magic in that store since Return to Ravnica pre-release back in the day when there was like 120 people. These are sold. So I think that's the fair comparison. I'm not going to use unfair comparisons against Rudy's 6.9. I'm going to use eBay sales and show you what it sells for. A, a collection just sold yesterday for 1769 Assuming you bought it for $1,000 worth tax, you're still way ahead even after shipping, even after uh, fees uh, on TCG Player. Uh, it is been a product that has always been around above 1500 is kind of the lowest sale I can find. And remember, like you might think, oh, there's not that many sales. There is. This is more sales than Rudy Chan's entire Weiss collection, right? And again, you're when you're selling something of this price point, I think what people didn't understand about this product was you don't need that many of sales. There's only 2,000 of them. Half of them will be ripped on whatnot. The other half will be like stored and sold one by one. This is an extremely, extremely profitable. And again, remove your emotion from it. I think a lot of times when people make bad investment decisions is because they put their emotion in it. They're like, oh, I feel this way. I feel this way. The facts, the numbers, they're staring at you in the face. And if you cannot admit that this was a good purchase that you could have flipped, if you call it flipped, or you could have resold, no matter how, whatever words you want to use terminology, uh, this was a once in a lifetime experience to essentially make 50%. Um, I think after fees, after taxes, after it's all said and done, you're making 50%. Now, I have been told in the comments relentlessly by the lemmings that, hey, Rudy has spent, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on the pins. And the again, don't let the emotion get to you. These are sold. There's one bid on $37 for the whole set complete. Pin in boxes. That's what it's worth. Just because something took $10,000 to make and it sells for $29 does not make it $10,000, right? I mean, it just makes it a really bad, um, a, I mean, it just makes it kind of like setting money on fire. So here are more pin sets, more pin sets that I've seen. You can kind of see the price collapse recently. So in one way, you can see the trajectory of the, of the alpha investment 6.9 collapse in price in time as less and less people are interested. And on the other side, you can see the Magic 30th edition is skyrocketing in price. Um, Again, last one sold yesterday for 1700 and change. I would not be surprised a month from now when I'm doing this, uh, the next one selling for over $2,000. Um, that's the way it's working. It's a very limited product, just like Rudy Chan's. It's very limited. This one was January 24th. It is unopened, and it's 575 Remember, the cost of it was actually $700 from Rudy, so... Whoever sold this, and assuming, you know, they didn't take the best offer, right? A lot of times when you see this, you know, the best offer is actually like a $100 offer, some type of lowball offer, right? Um, and the dice, I, again, I, I really look at this stuff and I have to say like from a period, if you want to actually think about this as an investment, you got to remove your emotions from it. It's very easy to get angry at Magic 30th product. I too was angry and be like, you know what? I'm, I hate this. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to support it. But if you are solely in it to make money, then you've missed a lifetime opportunity. It's a once in 30 year opportunity to make a quick 50%. I, I really truly believe 
that this thing is going to hit 2,000 very soon and could eventually one day hit 5,000, assuming no further reprints. Again, huge assumption I'm making, of course. Uh, but the Rudy Chan boxes and the cards and the promos and the other stuff in it, I mean, they're just going to, I mean, there wasn't like anything special in it, right? Like it was just promo cards that he has a lot of, I think. And then like Pokemon oversized cards and first of this in Monarch cases. And it's just like, ugh. anyway, let me know in the comments below if you agree. I know a lot of you disagree with me and you're going to get really emotional, but the numbers don't lie. One product was $1,000. That product just sold for $1,700 plus. One product was $700. That product just sold for $500 or under, right? Best, buy, best offer.